Hi, everyone. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for a great first few weeks of class. And um, I also wanted to reach out and let you know that this week you're working on an outline as part of an assignment. The outline is not the entire assignment. So you'll use the sheet I gave you for the article analysis and you'll fill in each section and the outline part for the argument is just deconstructing the paper, the article. Um, and it's a three point outline, three steps. So I put examples of that on Blackboard. Um, it's where you have like Roman numerals and then A and then one, you know, break it down. Um, the other thing I want to say is it is imperative that you read the announcements I send out because I send out a lot of important information every week. And it's information that's not embedded in the course, but that will certainly help you get through the course. I want you to read all of the um, documents that have been uploaded, read them thoroughly. Uh, so far, so good. I haven't had a lot of questions, but I just want to make sure that everyone's aware of this um, and don't let them just come to your inbox and go by the wayside. There's a lot of good information. And I strongly encourage you to use the Writing Center, uh, at least for editing, if nothing else, at least get your work edited. That way it's easier for me to read. Um, your paper is on Celea, your uh, research paper. And that doesn't mean you can't discuss other artists in relation to him, but his work and the specific work of Art Thing and Deception are the focus of your paper. You'll want to do a visual analysis when you get to the part about your introduction. So I suggest going ahead with that now um, that way it will start you on track thinking about what you need to uh, be reading and researching moving forward. So uh, just write down what you see, all the various aspects of the image, and that will help you notice things that uh, you might not notice otherwise. A close look at a work of art is, is so important. Um, we can't just gloss over them. So uh, think about it and different things that you can research will come to mind. I mean, for example, uh, students often overlook the passage of poetry by Baudelaire. Why did the artist feel important to uh, include this passage of poetry? Who was Baudelaire? Well, Baudelaire is um, dear to my heart. <laughs> He's a 19th century French poet. So think about why? Look up the poem, um, read all of it, even though there's just an excerpt in the painting. Um, and, and think about why Soleil included it. Why does it matter? What's important? Ask that about every aspect. Why does it matter? Why is it important that this is here? And that will help you come up with uh, ways to, that you can think about approaching um, this paper. You'll want to have at least three arguments, right? three or three facets of a paper, three points. Uh, so three different, if you're an undergrad, three different body paragraphs, but of course you're grad students. So um, it may will be more paragraphs, but three different ideas that you're supporting. Okay, that's it for now. Um, I will try to do more of these recordings for you. This is my first go with it. Um, so I look forward to uh, hopefully seeing you next week. Have a good week and let me know if you have any questions along the way. Thank you.